On September 20th, Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. The devastation to the island was extensive. The electrical grid took the brunt of the storm, and virtually the entire island lost power. Experts said it was the worst power outage in U.S. history. Puerto Rico faced numerous challenges to restore power. The utility company and the government were bankrupt. The remoteness of the island and the financial conditions also made traditional mutual aid support from other utility companies difficult to secure. And there were steep hills to climb, both with the island's geography and the condition of the grid infrastructure. Most of the right-of-ways had not been maintained in over 20 years. Just getting to many transmission towers and lines required tremendous effort and ingenuity. Whitefish Energy was the first contractor to get to Puerto Rico. Our expertise in rugged, remote terrain was a perfect fit for the tasks facing the island. Our business model leverages our knowledge of aerial repairs and tough geography with the ability to scale up quickly to meet the demands of a job. We moved fast to tap our network of logistics, engineering, and project management colleagues to rapidly mobilize. Over the course of two months, we brought more than 550 crew and 600 pieces of heavy equipment to the island. It wasn't easy. The airport was slow to reopen, and hotel rooms were hard to find. The seaport was overwhelmed and backlogged by the influx of relief supplies. But we found ways to get the people and heavy trucks, excavators, and other equipment to the island when others couldn't or wouldn't. And the ground equipment was fortified by a fleet of helicopters that were critical in airlifting people and equipment into the remote areas of the island. The videos we shared of the aerial work captivated the people of Puerto Rico. With the extensive blackout, most residents did not have access to television. So the daily updates we posted on Facebook and Twitter generated hundreds of thousands of views and comments of appreciation. Over the course of two months, Whitefish Energy completed repair work on six major transmission lines that covered more than 200 miles. And in doing so, we also replaced nearly 50 transmission towers, nearly 120 poles, and completed corrective action on nearly 200 other transmission structures. The electrical distribution, which stood in the single digits when we arrived, reached 65.6% by the time we finished on November 30th. Our work mostly focused on the transmission lines that connected the major power generating and distribution stations to major industrial and residential areas. As we completed our work, we then turned over the project to the local utility company for the final distribution work to energize neighborhoods, municipalities, and facilities. Whitefish Energy played an important role in starting the restoration work and keeping it on schedule. Equally important, our team managed against enormous challenges and distractions to leave the island with a record of safety, quality, and efficiency. We hope we will never again have to face the devastation like that of Puerto Rico. But we also know that Whitefish Energy is ready and capable for any task. We are proud of what we accomplished, and we leave Puerto Rico knowing we were the right company for the job and helped the great people of Puerto Rico.